Welcome everybody to the race 23, chase race 3 of the Mountain Dew Code Red Series. We are here at M&M's Super Speedway after we had a great finish in the trucks, but we have a great one here today. These guys are going for an extra 8 laps of racing. On the pole is Chase of Bren the Haral, starting 2nd is Derek Fletcher, 3rd will be Logan Scott, and 4th is going to be Karen Vieira. So we'll get this thing underway. Can Brenda Harala win her fifth race? It would be a record, not only in this series, but in any series. It would be the most wins ever. As Michael Amato got four wins in the Cup Series last year. Brenda has four in this series and three in the trucks. She has been a winning driver this season. Coming out of turn four, I forgot to mention, Brenda Haral also won Talladega in the Cup Series. She has won Charlotte, Gateway, and Iowa in this series. And in the trucks, she won Dover, Watkins Glen, and Indianapolis. As we are green flag racing here at M&M's, can she get the fifth win? She also won at Ricky Raceway. She knows how to win in this series. It's Micah Kidney. There's another chaser uh, who has been having a little bit of bad luck in the chase, looking for that first win still. And these guys go a lot faster than the truck guys, but it's most likely going to be a wreck. At least one, I'm guessing, here in the early laps. After that, they might be able to keep it clean. As here comes Cindy Villela on the bottom. Her father, Tony, right there. And these guys have pulled away a little bit. It's all oh, in. Look at the 55. That is a close finish right there. I wish that was our finisher. There's Kerry Dahl, who won the um, truck series race yesterday. She's here in the back of the pack trying to make her way down low here. It's Mike Kidney takes the lead. Now here comes Tony Vieira and Cindy Vieira. Along with Michael Jenkins, who last won at Milwaukee. As we're going four wide down the back straightaway for the race lead. Now Eric Corral is going to look low. There's your Texas winner from last week, Allison Rogers on the bottom. Who's going to lead this lap? Oh, Eric Corral barely let it. Here comes Chaser Adam Rogers with help from Zachary Rogers. Five wide for the race lead. You have got to be kidding me. They are just going crazy. Now Billy Wentworth is low. Now here comes Jim Martin low. And these are the kind of races that I do not do highlights of because the racing is ridiculous. Gene Evans now looking for the point. Oh, there they go. We got a wreck. Logan Scott is spinning now. And oh, who led that at the line? Gene Evans. They're saying Gene Evans led it at the line. Oh, man, Scott Green, Tony Vieira, Peyton Goodwin, Janice Reese. I saw Logan Scott get spun around. And Peyton Goodwin there. Well, let's take you and see what caused the first caution of the day. I'm trying to figure out where it started here. I think it started up here with the 88. Oh, yep, there the 70 gets into the 79 and the 71 down here. And they're just going to go and, oh, my gosh. Oh, Tony Vieira and, oh, Peyton Goodwin. They almost went into the freaking inside road. The 70's spinning out. Where's the 88 up here? There's the 88. Oh, Peter Sands gets brushed. And everybody else is just going to slam on the brakes. Let's take it on board with the 79 and the 71 because it looks like they took some very hard, dangerous hits. On board with Peyton Goodwin. Good 
As he's just going to cozy into his pit box here after that incident. For Tony Vieira, who had the scarier of the two hits in that area. Oh, man. He, he is lucky. Look, like, look at this. Look at this right here. I'm going to go to the bar chase cam. He hits the wall oh, right there, right? Now, if he was a little lighter to getting into there, he would have been pierced on the right side. That would have been horrific accident. And he almost hits the wall there. So he he's out of the race, but he dodged the bullet with a serious accident on that one. To get ready to go back green, only Tony Vieira is out of the race. Top 10 win now, and Chiefs Zachary Rogers leads it. Then Cindy Vieira, Eric Carrara, Robert Rogers, Karen Vieira, Chaser James Francis, then Chaser Michael Naylor, Derek Fletcher, Scott Greening, and Benjamin Dion. And I'm not certain, but I think maybe these top 10 might have stayed out. I'm not certain. Fastest lap of the race has gone to Jim Morton, a 46.351. As the drivers have 10 laps of racing to go as they hit the green this time. Will they keep it green? And there will most likely be one more pit stop. Green flags out and they are underway here again at M&M's. As Michael Nail is the one to make the first move there as they come into turn one. As Eric Corrala is looking for second. Coming down towards the back straight. We do appear to have a slow car in the form of Peyton Goodwin. Ben Harala is all the way back here after starting on the pole. Peter Sands appears to have a little bit of hood damage, but I think he's okay. Zachary Rogers leading with Cindy Vieira behind. And these guys are coming in. These guys stayed out. The drivers that stayed out are pitting now. They're pitting in a group. And that will give the lead to Eric Kerala. Who I believe if he is a part of that group, he is the only one that would still need to pit. As Jim Morton was rock, had a bad pit stop last week at Texas near the end. And he did not get that win. That he would so desperately wanted to get the second win. He could get that one today as he has just taken the race lead. But it's a super speedway race. Anything can happen. Now here comes Gene Evans and Billy Wentworth. And here comes Eric Harala coming into pit road. I saw the double zero and the 11 get into each other, and I thought the 11 was going to get into the 8 car. This Billy Wentworth has taken the race lead for the time being. There are the cars that pit coming out. There's Zachary Rogers and Robert Rogers, along with Karen Vieira. Billy Wentworth is your race leader for the time being. These drivers are nearing their pit stops as well. The 43 car here. Here are the others here. The 321 and 14 have formed a little pack here. Father, mother, and son. And just to case the thing, the father and the mother do not live together. Just to give that little brief thing there. Um, who is, if anybody is pitting now? Yep, Billy Wentworth is coming in. Here comes the 43 car. Gene Evans coming in as well. A lot of drivers and oh my gosh, Benjamin Tilton almost got wrecked by Austin Alves. So here comes Billy Wentworth. Into his pit stall. 
He's gonna take left sides. I never heard of taking left sides at a super speedway, but no, oh, Janice Reese just took out the 89 of Michael Jenkins. Oh, Michael Jenkins just got in the big one. With that's gonna hurt the 43. He's stuck. He has to wait for Adam Rogers to go. And if Adam Rogers doesn't go soon. And the 43 got teleported to pit road. Tough break for Billy Wentworth. That is awful. But well, that's the way the pit road works here. As Gene Evans has taken command of the lead. I wonder if these drivers can make it too. There's Kerry Dowdall. We talked about her winning the truck race here. Now who else is here pitting? Oh, 55. Race leader was Carol Fletcher. There goes Allison Rogers, who won last week at Texas. So now he comes out. I'm trying to see how close the other drivers are. And the thing is, here you can go much faster on that exit than you can at Coca Cola. And here comes Gene Evans. Gene Evans is looking for the point. Here's Zachary Rogers. Karen Vieira, Robert Rogers about to go three wide. Allison Rogers in second. These drivers all forming up here. Karen Vieira looking for second place. This is Gene Evans leads with Four to go. White flag is out. Gene Evans is your race leader. Zachary Rogers, Ken Villa, Robert Rogers all had to pit again. They could not make it. Gene Evans is leading. Allison Rogers looking for the second win in a row. But will it be possible? Two non chasers up here at the front. The nearest chaser is Kerry Dowdall in fourth, showing she knows what she is doing here at Eminem Super Speedway. But I don't think Allison Rogers is going to get the pull she need, the pull that she needs to get up to there. So we come out of turn four. Gene Evans making the blocks. Gene Evans is going to win at Eminem Super Speedway. So now two races in a row in this series. A non-chase driver has won an event. Well, we'll see you guys soon. Oh, wait a minute. I have to do the top 10 chasers. Kerry Dowdall gets fourth. And that's it. That's the only chaser in the top 10. So congratulations again to Gene Evans. <laughs>